What's going on you guys? EP09 back here with another video and I have a couple of updates for you guys today. I just found out that Blessing Wodabu is dropping out of the upcoming Arnold Classic so I'm going to discuss what he had to say and why I think he ultimately decided to drop out. Nick Walker has been dropping some update pictures and I want to discuss why Nick should be doing the Arnold coming up. And we also found out from Hunter Labrada himself what exactly went wrong with the showing at the 2022 Olympia. And Hunter tells us that he's planning on doing multiple shows in the 2023 season. And he tells us exactly why. So stay tuned you guys, I've got all the updates for you guys right here. So let's start with Blessing of Odebu. Blessing received an invitation to compete at the Arnold Classic 2023 in March, and of course the day after I make my prediction video for the Arnold, Blessing dropped an update that he's dropping out of the show. Blessing took to his Instagram and had the following to say. Huge thanks to the Arnold Sports for the invite, one of my all time favorite shows, but unfortunately I will not be doing the Arnold this year. Going off completely for almost 3 months after Indy and New York shows and traveling really affected by Olympia prep negatively. I definitely lost some muscle mass and I didn't have enough time to fill out my physique before the Olympia. So right now, I'm just going to give my body the much needed time to bring back my shape before any prep. Expect a crazy comeback later this year from the Boogeyman. So guys, like I said in my predictions video about Blessing, which I clearly may have to do another predictions video in a couple of weeks now, but look, I was surprised to hear in the first place that Blessing was even going to do the show, because I do think he needs more time to rest, go back to the drawing board, get bigger, figure out his peak after adding some more size, and come back and meet everyone's expectations that he's really set for himself. He has the frame, he has the structure, but... I am going to start questioning if his frame really can actually handle putting on additional size. I think if he doesn't do it in 2023, then he may never get to that top 10 at the Olympia. Now I also said in my last video that I heard George Farah and Blessing were parting ways, but George left a comment on Blessing's post here as well you guys can see, and it was a pretty positive comment. So I don't know if George is just being supportive to a former client and they left on good terms and I don't know, or is he more or less just wishing him the best, or is George still coaching Blessing? I, It's kind of hard to tell from George's comment, but I'll let you guys know when I have anything confirmed either way. But, you know, either way we won't be seeing Blessing at the Arnold Classic this year. That brings the current number of confirmed competitors down to six. So, is there anyone else that might throw their hat in the ring? Anyone else that is hanging on to some pretty decent conditioning? Anyone out there that could come in and win? Of course you guys, I'm talking about Nick Walker. Everyone is buzzing right now about Nick potentially doing the Arnold, even though he has gone on record to say that he is most definitely not doing the Arnold this year. Nick wants to focus on the Olympia, and Nick is extremely focused on that goal. He always has been. I understand hanging on to some conditioning after the Olympia, but I mean, if you're in this good a shape, so close to the show, and being a former Arnold Classic champion, I mean, man, why not? Give the fans what they want, Nick. Do the show. Go collect another $200,000. You know, seriously, <laughs> it seems like a no-brainer to me and the rest of the bodybuilding world. Even second place, I mean, is 120 grand, and I guarantee Nick would at least be top two. But he would definitely be the new favorite to win the show if he decided to go in and do it. You know, even if Derek came in to do the show, I still think Nick would be in the running to win, and that would be a great story in its own right. Nick just falls one place short to Derek at the Olympia, but then comes back to beat him at the Arnold? Then throw in Sean Clarita in there, you know, Samson in there. You guys, we would have a show just as exciting as the 2022 Olympia on our hands. Nick, if you're watching this, trust me, do the show, man. You'll thank yourself in the end. And listen, Matt Jansen, if you're watching this, Nick is doing the show. You guys go get it done, okay? Now, one guy we pretty much definitely won't see at the Arnold this year is Hunter Labrada. I guess Hunter took his 7th place finish at the Olympia pretty hard. He was definitely expecting to do better, you know, everyone around him was saying he was going to do better, it seemed, but at the end of the day, this year just didn't work out the way he planned. Hunter recently appeared on the Iron World YouTube channel and offered an explanation as to what happened at the Olympia. Check it out. I feel like I made a couple mistakes, and you know, they were collective mistakes, me and Ben being our first prep together, and you know, we learned some lessons. Um, it, like six, seven weeks out, and then we learned some lessons the last five weeks of uh, the prep this year, you know, leading into the peak, so. And then we had to drag him down probably a bit too much in from six weeks to a week out. Things were responding from like 20 weeks out to 12 weeks out real, real nice. And then at 12 to six, we kind of stagnated and we lost a bit of time there. So that's what happened with Hunter this year. 
Yeah, Hunter took his loss pretty hard, but I think overall he's got a good attitude about it now that the smoke is cleared and, you know, I've definitely been critical of Hunter's physique myself, but I think Hunter does bring good things to the Olympia lineup when he is on. I was most critical of Hunter's diet more than anything leading up to the Olympia, you know, where Hunter was doing like five shakes a day because his gut couldn't handle real food for some reason. Ben Chow, Hunter's coach, also mentioned during his recent appearance on Fuad's podcast that Hunter is going to get his gut issues addressed here so he can get back on the solid foods and ultimately get the nutrients he needs to make better progress. It's not just about protein, carbs, and fats that you need, guys. You need to get in those micronutrients, too. And you can't just rely on multivitamins and other supplements to ensure your overall health. You need to get in real food. That's one thing that Rich Piana definitely got right. You know, may he rest in peace. Hunter also had this to say about his Olympia showing. I think, like, Tuesday after the show and, uh, you know, Wednesday was supposed to be my first day back in the gym and, uh, you know, I, I went to the gym, you know, my gym, Labrada gym, the one you've seen me train out of and post all my shit out of for the last, like, year. And, uh, you know, walking back in that room for the first time after uh, the Olympia not going the way that I wanted to, you know, I, I, I fucking lost it. You know, I was not okay about it, you know, just thinking about, you know, everything that I'd done in that room for, you know, over a year. And, uh, you know, this Olympia has really made me kind of, like, focus in on, you know, what it means to fail. And, you know, what you do in the wake of that failure. And, uh, you know, you can call them mistakes, but uh, I've chosen to call them lessons this year. So, yeah, like I said, he definitely took this loss pretty hard at first. I couldn't imagine walking into my own private gym with everything you could possibly want to be one of the best bodybuilders in the world at your disposal and, you know, just not feeling good about it. In the end, he did turn that attitude around, and I mean, 7th place in the world is certainly respectable, you guys. But the real interesting part is Hunter's strategy to do at least two shows this year in order to figure out his peak. You know, placing 7th and uh, sliding from 4th, I am no longer qualified uh, for the Olympia this year, so I will actually be competing in not one, but two shows for sure. Um, fact of the matter is I gotta figure my peak out. I think this is a smart move for Hunter, and I think him getting out there and competing in more shows, you know, is something that the fans are going to love too. Him and Ben can gain some more experience working together, and maybe Hunter can do a couple of shows where he actually goes and enjoys himself, you know? He's still a young competitor, you guys. He hasn't done that many shows in his life. So I think that this is going to work out well for Hunter, and I'm looking forward to the progress that he can make in the 2023 season. So that's going to do it for me in this video, you guys. Leave me a comment down below on what you think about some of this stuff. Do you think Blessing is making the right call dropping out of the Arnold? Should Nick Walker actually go and do the Arnold? Or should he remain focused on the Olympia? Is Hunter's strategy of doing at least two shows this year going to pay off for him? Or should he concentrate on just getting qualified for the Olympia and then focusing on improving his placing on the biggest stage in bodybuilding? Leave me a comment down below, you guys. Thanks for tuning in to EP09. Be sure to like and subscribe.